Banks are institutions that take care of money. They try to make the best use of money. And this best use of money is through various modes. They provide various services related to money. For example, foreign exchange transactions, foreign currency conversion, insurance related activities, deposits, loans, mutual fund related activities, online payments. So all these various types of activities are undertaken by banks. The list of the activities that are undertaken by bank is very long. Today we shall look at evolution of banking in India. We are fortunate that banking in India is as old as civilization. The format has changed, the structure has changed, it is now very well organized in a very well formal manner. But banking is as old as civilization in India. India is one of the rare countries which has history of banking which is for times immemorial. We have seen bankers in India very very old times. We used to have bankers and the kings used to have uh, you know support from the bankers and bankers also used to get support from kings. Whenever there used to be need of financial resources the kings used to look upon bankers. The traders had well established systems of trade and uh, of course they were not as sophisticated as the modern systems and uh, we can say the banking in India is as old as civilization in India. But that's not the case with modern banking. The typical traditional banking which used to be operated in India was operated by old traditional money lenders who followed old principles, old systems which were not very transparent, which were not based on very stringent systems. So today we shall discuss about evolution of modern banking. When we talk about modern banking, again we have to divide the history of modern banking in uh, four important periods. Pre-independence period, that is before independence, what was the system of banking, then after independence, then after nationalization and then after 1990. So we will look at the evolution of banking in these four year, four periods in India. Now let's talk about history of banking before independence. Before independence, we had uh, three important banks. Bank of Bengal, Bank of Bombay, Bank of Madras. These three important banks were set up by Britishers. You can say these are modern banks because they followed modern systems of banking. Now these banks were called presidency banks. These banks were controlled by the Britishers at that time. These banks were working primarily for the interests of the Britishers. But then they introduced the modern form of banking in India. Because of you know looking into them many private banks also came. But these private banks did not make very much important rule before independence. Their size was small, their operational level was small. So many private banks also started coming. The Bank of Bengal, Bank of Bombay and Bank of Madras which were British controlled banks were merged in 1925 and then they were called Imperial Bank of India. This is the Imperial Bank, the same bank which converted into State Bank of India after independence. So you can say that the roots of State Bank of India is in the form of Bank of Bengal, Bank of Bombay, Bank of Madras. In 1925 they were merged together and uh, 
they are named as Imperial Bank of India. The, when we talk about banking, the most important uh, institution of today's time, the most important institution